Okay, in this video we are going to do a review on the HID lights I installed in my F-150. Uh, you guys saw that video yesterday, if not I'm going to post a link to it below. It hasn't even been three weeks and we already have problems. If anything's going to be tested, the cold Canadian winters will surely destroy everything. What happened is that earlier in the week it was like minus 25, getting close to minus 30. Drove my truck to work and one of the headlights went out. So, is it a ballast? Is it a ball burnt out? Is it an insulation problem that I did? Let's go and try to figure that out right now. I was told that this kit's probably one of the best in business and you know, three weeks and they've maybe had 10 hours of use is not too good in my books right now. So, let's go have a look at this and let's try to figure out what the fuck is going on. Okay, here we go here. I thought it was the driver's side, but it's actually the passenger side bulb that's out. So now, let's remove the headlight bezel and have a look. Alright, let's get this fucking lamp out of here. Well, I swapped the light over to the other side and it works, so we know the light is not the issue. So it could be very well be an insulation issue, which is a fuck up on my part with the bad ground. Which we're going to make an attempt to correct that, but we're going to check power going to the light first. So I swapped this bulb out with there, and it works. So we know the bulb's not the issue, like I said. So now I hooked this all back up, but I left the ground off. So now we're going to turn on the lights. And we're going to try to get a good ground somewhere. And if the light comes on, we know that's the issue. If the light won't come on, then it could be a ballast issue. Motherfucking shit. It's the goddamn ground. That's what it is. Watch for it, watch for it. See? Bad ground. Motherfucker. So with the wire so short, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right there because that'd be a good ground. We're gonna tighten that down, we're gonna fire it up again, and both lights should come on, and we're in the clear. Yeah, there we are, both lights work. Fuck me in the goat ass. I'm the fucking dummy. I did save the old bulbs just in case, but I'm not gonna need them now. Do you know what time it is? It's time to admit I'm a fucking dummy. Here I was at the beginning of the video, I was not very happy talking about how the lights had worked and three weeks later it didn't work and all that bullshit went, went all along, it's my fucking fault. I kind of had an idea when it was installed that I might have an issue with that ground, that's why I said right away it could be possibly that ground after I knew that that light had worked because I was a little unsure of it when I was testing when I should have just did it properly the first time but I figured you know the wire's short. Let's just run it here, fucking done. That wasn't the case. So Andrew from CoolBulbs.com is probably sitting watching this video thinking, yeah, this guy's a fucking clown. But in reality, the only way you're going to learn is to admit your mistakes. Fucking, that's why I like to keep this channel real. If I did something wrong, I'm going to come back and tell you that I did something wrong and this is what I did to fix it. Even though that mistake out there was a pretty rookie mistake, but at the same time, it worked for three weeks flawlessly then all of a sudden one day when it was super cold out boom it quit fucking working the last thing I was thinking about that time was the ground I was thinking like a bad ballast or a bulb but a little bit of troubleshooting I gotta figure it out everything's back up and running and it should last for a while now without any issues so uh, other than that I have nothing really else to say if you have any questions or comments post them below otherwise thanks for watching and if there's any issues in the future I will update you guys